Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at Alarm Clock Pro. So while Alarm Clock software may not seem that exciting, Alarm Clock Pro's ability to have recurring events or trigger things at specific times can be very powerful. Let's take a look. So here we are in Alarm Clock Pro and its main view is a list of alarms. You can add a new alarm by clicking new there and you get the assistant to set it up. Now you can name your alarm and set it to go off when you want to. For instance, you can set it to go off at a specific date and time. You can also set it to go off weekly or hourly or on a specific timer. So for instance, you can set it to go off at an interval like every five minutes for instance. Then under actions, where you can set what happens when the alarm goes off. You can also set some exclusions, so have a task that performs regularly but have it not perform on a certain date. In addition to that, you can set things to be a private alarm so it doesn't show up on your list, um, allow it to ring multiple times or only just do it once, um, and power manager integration, which basically says if you set an alarm but your Mac goes to sleep, it'll wake it up so that it can sound the alarm. It can even start the Mac up as well. So one of the issues here is what if your Mac is asleep or it's shut down. Uh, the power management option will allow it to wake up or start up so the alarm can sound. But there are still some situations where it won't work. For instance, if you have a MacBook or MacBook Pro and you actually close it, then you can't start it up and start the program running. So you have to be careful when using it in those situations. So here are some ideas of what you could do here. Uh, just system volume, you could set that so your max volume goes down at night and goes back up in the morning. That way you might not hear uh, incoming mail messages, things like that uh, while you're trying to sleep. Uh, you can have it show alert or display an alarm notice maybe to tell you to take a break from work uh, every once in a while. Uh, you could have it uh, compose an email. If there's uh, an email that you want to send uh, in the future, you can have it open up mail and pre-populate it with the recipient, subject, and message so then you could send that message. Perhaps there's a website that you rely on for information or for some sort of uh, productivity um, regimen that you've got and you can have it open up that URL at a certain time or over a regular interval. Um, you can have it log you out uh, in the evening automatically. You can have it play a multimedia file or something in iTunes to use it as a regular alarm to, to wake you up in the morning if your Mac is in the same room where you sleep. Um, you can also have it shut down the computer on a regular basis. So for instance, shutting it down at night uh, or restarting it uh, once a day as well. In addition to that, Alarm Clock Pro has a lot of special features. For instance, a full calendar that comes up and shows you future alarms. You can bring up a quick uh, stopwatch, uh, which could be a productivity tool. Uh, it can look up time zones for you. You can have it display clocks on the screen that float above everything else. They can come in handy. It has a task list manager here where you can create tasks and prioritize them. I like that you can set little alarms to go off later in the day or the next day without having to clutter your calendar with events. This makes it easy to remind yourself to do certain things. I also like that you can have reoccurring events, say have something happen every hour, every other hour, just to remind you to take a break or to perform a certain task that you need to be doing all day. So give it a try. There's a free 15 day trial period and then it's 20 bucks after that to continue using it. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.